uncertainty on Snake Eye's side there, I think. He's already seen he can't jump. That's what that's in fact that's the lesson that Daigo wants him to learn. Obviously, it's not impossible to jump. Right. But uh, so far, Snake Eyes has not harassed Daigo on the ground enough to make Daigo you know, pay attention to the ground strongly enough to stop looking at anti-air. Yeah, right now Daigo's ground game, the footsie game, fundamentals too strong. Snake Eyes really needs to find a hole, a seam that he can take advantage of. Him. And again, see, he went for the jump there, and it's just not going to work. He has not been able to read Daigo's fireball timing at all. Well, Daigo has one of, or maybe the best, fireball timings in the world. And he has for a long time. So it's hard to read when he's going to bring out the fireball. And that means it's hard to read when you're supposed to jump, too, if you're trying to jump over the fireball. Oh, Plus another thing too is that there is a range where Zangief can jump with the fierce and then if he doesn't touch a button, the uppercut will whiff. Just like that right there. But up until that one particular moment, Daigo has been so good at scoping out that distance. Oh, and that, yeah, that's going to do it. And just like that, Daigo, you see how much life Daigo has lost? That's how much he lost basically in both rounds. So in other words, Snake Eyes has barely been able to get a crack on Daigo at all. And wow, we're going to character select ah. for Snake Eyes. Is he actually considering going to a no? He's gonna stick with it. He's gonna stick with it. Did he switch Ultra? No, he had Ultra 2 last time. So much confidence on Vago's side. You know, the fireball game, like I said, very, very, very strong. The willingness to walk up, press crash, medium kick at just the right spot. Okay, so, well, here's Snake Eyes. Okay, okay. He finally did find the jump in. If he can get that consistently enough, he might be able to open up the ground better for himself as well. Okay. That's one of the first times Snake Eyes has actually won that meeting once they both went in at the same time. Look like Daigo was expecting and, in fact, hoping for Snake Eyes to jump. Hasn't done it. Wow, and you see that Snake Eyes just doesn't want to believe that Daigo's throwing those fireballs and those timing. Well, that's also a hard spot for him to be in. You see how that roundhouse is working against right. Thank you. Um It's not quite Sagat roundhouse, but it it is kind of tough for Geef to deal with. Yeah. If, if Geef is in the, the, anim the crouching process, you know, that sort of animation, then that roundhouse will hit him. Oh, oh into the ultra, and just like that. Daigo had whittled enough damage just through little hits, and then he capitalizes with one FADC. Ooh, boom, and there it is. He's going to take that round. And at that great round there from Snake Eyes, all erased. He did do good work, and you're right, it doesn't matter on the scoreboard, but it can matter for these, these following rounds. Or we might see a little bit different take in how he approaches the jump or the ground game. Yeah, we are seeing a little bit of difference in how Daigo deals with it. Yeah, but he's been maintaining the distance that he wants so well that Snake Eyes just hasn't been able to get anything out of that. Just right there, he finally got Daigo to the corner, one combo, all the way back out. Oh, oh, nice. So beautiful. That air to air. Oh, risky with that ultra 2 on deck. Oh. Poor Snake Eyes. Daigo. Will he throw that fireball? That's the question. EX can't be focused. He did throw it, and it was at precisely the right time. Yeah, and the EX as well to make it as fast as possible. Daigo going up two games to nothing. Yeah, hard to deal with it, you know, if you're Snake Eyes right now. And you, you can see on his face doesn't really seem entirely sure about what he should be doing better, what he should be doing differently. So he's gone back to character select again. Thinking about it. He's gonna stick with Zangy. Yeah, because really, honestly, going evil Ryu is just not... I mean, that's the secondary character that he has to fight against Sagat. It worked when he fought against Gact earlier in the tournament, but I just don't think he's gonna get the same kind of results going up against Daigo. I think you're right. I, I do think this is the best bet for him. Last chance for Snake Eyes. Can he get a win in here? But see how Daigo, every time Snake Eyes tries to jump at that range, Daigo just closes the distance and makes sure that his uppercut will connect. I love the backdash there after that jump pierce hit. 
just to reset the situation. Is Daigo confident enough that he can walk back into the right spot? He has been. There's a range that's a little bit further out that's good for Geek, but every time Snake Eyes has tried to walk backwards to get into that range, Daigo has just followed it. All about finding those little spots on screen. Different characters have different strengths at different spots. And you're right, Daigo's done a great job of standing at the range that's strong for him. And Snake Eyes has had trouble doing that. Yeah, you saw all those other rounds that Daigo kept throwing that surprise fireball. You notice all of a sudden, he's not doing it anymore because he noticed Snake Eyes wasn't walking around as much. He knows Snake Eyes is looking for it. And he has been really sparse with those fireballs. Mm -hmm. Just going for the, the, the true block string on low forward in the fireball, and all those fireballs are adding up, so little by little with the chip. He's so good at being away. All of a sudden he's in there, and look, that it was a perfect setup for that. Right, Because yeah. he had been staying away. All of a sudden he's in for a crouching medium kick and, and into fireball, as you said. And that had happened a good three or four times, and he had seen, okay, Snake Eyes is willing to stand still. Let me bring this out. It was the perfect yep. time for that. Match point now for Daigo. EX hand, red focus on deck though. If he counter, if he, if he finds a poke against any of these buttons, or if he gets through, well, I like that he didn't spend the meter for red focus. That's good for him at least. But still, he's just, as you can see, having a lot of trouble finding where to press buttons and when. On Daigo's side, complete opposite. Right, you saw that, like, for example, that crouching roundhouse from Snake Eyes with just by pixel. That is not an accident. That might be it. Daigo, can he seal it? He does. And just Very like that, in three dominating games, Daigo Umahara sends home the last U.S. player, Snake Eyes. But round of applause for Snake Eyes. He made it all the way through loser's bracket after winning that, after losing that first round, made it all the way back and was just taken out by Daigo, who was just playing too strong. Look, one of the greatest players.